What's going on guys, I am with the Moose and today I'm going to be talking about the pack market on my Mutt 16 wishlist series. So let's hop right into it with the first one up and uh, I say that there should be toppers for pro pack bundles. This was a thing in Mutt 25 and I'm not sure about Mutt 13 or Mutt 12 or whatever. I'm sure they were if they weren't, let me know in the comments down below, but I know they were in, in Mutt 25. And while they were never great cards, you know, you usually got like a 90 overall, maybe a 91, 92 overall player. It was a cool thing to get. And, you know, you could sometimes get like a 94 or 95 overall player in the Mutt 25, um, you know, Pro Pack Bundle Toppers. And it was cool to get those guys. You know, it was they were worth at least like 4K, sometimes worth, you know, 10, 20K. So I thought it was pretty cool. I think the way they could easily do it, you know, I mean, why not? At least on the 60 bundle or the 40 bundle. I mean, these are huge. The 40 bundle is 50 bucks. The, the 60 bundle is like $90, basically. I mean, they, can they give us anything more than just Pro Packs? I think they could easily drop in an Elite or two Elite. Um, you know bundle topper type, type thing and even if they were you know 90 overall players I think that's pretty solid that's at least something for something extra for buying such a large amount of packs at one time so I think that's a great idea for them to do that the next thing I really want is um, a limit on or no limits I should say on single specialty packs I think that is key and something that should definitely you know be in the game I don't know why there are any limits you know so you guys are seeing right now the all pro packs are currently in the game and for some reason, there's a limit of six on how many all pro packs you can buy, which I think is really stupid, especially for people that have, you know, maybe have a lot of coins, but don't want to spend money on the game or, you know, don't have the money to spend on the game, but have amassed a pretty good amount of coins. If they want to spend their coins on all pro packs or legend packs or game changer packs, whatever the packs are in the game, why should we limit them? Um, especially when they bumped up the limit on how many bundles you can buy. It's kind of crazy you guys are seeing here. You can buy five of these all pro pack bundles, basically totaling, you know, 10,000 or so points, which is over $100. So they definitely seem to be, you know, a little bit money hungry in this aspect. I generally think that, you know, what they do is business savvy, but this is, seems to be a little bit annoying. And I hope they change that around in Mutt 16 and remove the limits on specialty packs. Now, Another thing I want, which is kind of small, but something I think that could help enha enhance the game a little bit, is continue the fact that you can pull two or more golds, or I guess I, uh, you know, two golds in a pack. I guess in a pro pack, um, you know, most most pro packs are gonna always give you one gold. That's fair enough. That's you know what we've come to expect. But I liked that later on in this year they kind of added in that aspect where you could pull you know a 73, 74, 75 overall player as a second gold player, along with the fact that you could pull kickers and stuff like that. Um, you know along with you know the regular gold so I think it's kind of cool It's just a little added bonus on top of pulling a regular gold is getting you know that that rare gold or whatever on top of it I think it's pretty cool and something that you know is pretty easy to implement and I don't see why they wouldn't continue Next up I think that there needs to be a way to earn points while you play the game without having to spend money now obviously the easiest way to get points is going to be to spend money. That's the direct way to get it. But I think there should be a way that you can get points from just playing. Maybe it has to be, you know, a milestone in head-to-head -head seasons where you win 100 games or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm sure it would be a pretty tall task to earn a lot of points. But hey, I think it'd be cool for players that, you know, don't have a lot of money or don't really have any money to be able to open a bundle. Um, you know a specialty pack bundle that they've never you know been able to because they just don't have the money or don't want to put the money into the game you know I think if they're loyal Madden players and they play almost every day they should be able to open up specialty packs you know whenever they want really because they can get points from playing the game I think they'd be really really cool I'm not sure if they do that I kind of don't think so but I think you know being optimistic I think they could easily do it and then finally there needs to be more great cards to pull because if you guys think about it I'm uploading this video on a Thursday. What is in packs right now? Let's be honest. There is nothing in packs. There are no boss cards. There are no 24 hour cards. There are nothing in packs. And I actually looked on Mutthead to see how many 99 overall players there were you could pull in packs right now if you were to just open a random bundle because you felt like it. There are four 99 overall players you can pull at any time except you know whenever they release 24 hour cards and stuff like that there is bo jackson the original bo jackson the legend one there's walter payton the legend you know original legend 
there's Knight Tran Lane, the original legend, and there's Lawrence Taylor, the original legend for them. And those cards are all worse than their respective, you know, upgrades. And there's a few ones like Bo Jackson and uh, Walter Payton and whatnot that have, you know, multiple uh, upgrades. So I think that needs to be changed around. I liked how in Mutt 25 they released, you know, one Ultimate Legend that was always in packs and then one that had a set. Obviously, I really like the boss cards, and I really like that they're only 24 hours. I think that's smart. I think that's cool. You know, hype people up on Saturdays. But I also think, you know, the people that want to, you know, just open up a random bundle on Tuesday because maybe they got their paycheck and they feel like opening a bundle. Um, I think it'd be cool if there were actually good cards to pull. And right now, there's no incentive to pull cards, or pull packs, I should say, except for when there are good cards in the game, which I think is stupid. I think, you know... From a business perspective even, from Mutt's perspective, you know, they want to make money, that's fair. Why don't they release good cards in the game that you can get at any time instead of just on the weekend? I think that would be a genius idea for them to release, you know, good cards. Obviously, this is later on in Mutt 16's life cycle, of course. There's not going to be 99s everywhere to start off Mutt 16, but I think just generally there should be a good amount of cards that you can pull in packs and not all, f you know, focused on sets and stuff like that. Um, I think sets are cool and good, but... Overall, there needs to be more cards that you can pull in packs to provide an incentive to pull packs and, you know, really, you know, enhance the mode because pulling packs is the most fun part of Madden Ultimate Team. I don't think anyone can almost deny that. It's very, very fun, but hopefully they make it better in Mutt 16. So that does it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And of course, let me know what you think I got wrong and what you think I got right in this Mutt 16 wishlist video. And let me know what you think you would like in Mutt 16 packs. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.